Ash's arm is skinnier than the mannequin's even, even they've got a smaller wrist than her, and that looks like Tadej Pogacar. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay, yeah, and then come back or something, yeah. Asia as well, always be wary. Look, look how low this is. All right. Knock your neck out. All right. Another thing in Asia, watch out because it's pretty low. Like Natasha's five foot ten, 178, you know, and you're just clear on that. So always keep your eyes everywhere you go in Asia. We're looking in the, in the for the the casualties, the hazards on the ground and hazards from above. Asia teaches you to. Uh, Always watch where you're going, doesn't yeah, it, sweetheart? It does. Beautiful gardens here in Kuala Lumpur. World class. One of the best parks in the world I've ever been to. It's fantastic. <sighs> it's an old one. It's like a strangler fig. So this is, you know, common in Asia. You know, you always just watch where you're going. <laughs> and this is for blind people these little things but again you always watch where you're going and also pedestrian crossings the cars don't stop here so be aware of that always look left look right but now uh, Asia I love Asia in general Kuala Lumpur Central if Adelaide didn't exist I'd definitely live in Asia like, Asia is just killer like, I love Adelaide don't get me wrong Adelaide's, Adelaide's one of the best cities in the world Adelaide's no Adelaide's the best city in the world if you want to live in a western nation Adelaide pff, nothing comes close to Adelaide uh, if you're in fitness and nature, but yeah, it's uh, Asia though, man. Asia kicks ass Do as well. For like, if you got an injury, like I, my neck, a bit stiff. It's um, it's really good. Like here, here at a pedestrian crossing, the car, cars aren't going to stop. <laughs> they, they just blast right through. So make sure you're always paying attention. Always been paying attention here. Steps and stuff. So yeah, it's a killer place though. Asia. KL, nice place. The road quality, man, the road quality is insane. Like, so fast, man. Like, your average speed here, if you're doing, let's say, averaging two or 300 watts on a ride, your average speed is going to be blasted up because the roads here are so fast, okay? 120 psi. 120 psi. Another one is another example. So I would. Boom! Knockout. KO! TKO! Won't stop! Won't stop! Okay, they won't always be paying attention. But the road service here is incredible. I would say Malaysia's it's probably got the best roads in the world. Uh you really go this way, babes. It's probably got the I was, I'd, I'd rate Malaysia Malaysia, France and Thailand top three in the world. Probably Malaysia number one. And then Thailand number two and France number number three. The road quality is amazing. In Bangkok the road quality is pretty average, but outside of Bangkok, road quality is really, really good in Thailand. But Malaysia, man, what a great place. So much vegan food here. The fruit's not as good as Thailand. 
Um, and there's petty theft, but otherwise, great place. Really, really good place. I always enjoy coming to Malaysia. Uh, would I hold an event here in Malaysia? For sure, I'd, hold, I'd definitely hold an event here. It just doesn't have the fruit like Thailand does. Uh, it doesn't have the fruit like Thailand does. But it has, you know, facilities and stuff like that. And also the drinks here are very sugary. You know, the Malaysians are very sugar phobic now. Sugar tanks. Sugar tanks. Really? So you see Malaysians getting fatter and fatter and fatter because they think sugar's bad and fat's good. <laughs> and their trolleys are full of oil. Full of oil. And hot. Oil and Cow dairy, oil. meat, yeah. Malaysia's getting fatter, that's for sure. Uh, KL Grand Central. Grand Central Kuala Lumpur. We'll take you a little walk through here. You've got Air Asia tickets over there. This is where you catch the train to the airport. This is KL Central. Okay. KL Central. Go down the stairs here. Some Malaysian flags, almost like a US flag. And uh, the slides are coming off my feet. That's why I recommend sneakers. My sneakers are getting fixed at the moment. Going to walk through here. Hopefully, it's not too shaky. Hopefully, the audio is okay. You can sort of see here. You got a mix of demographics, mix of religions. There's a panda up there. So yeah, pretty chill vibe, pretty chill vibe. And this is the shopping center, New Central, our hotels on the other side of this joint. So just a few minutes ago, we were in the uh, Botanic Gardens, and now we are upskirting in, uh, in Kale, New Central. Might have to uh, shift the uh, camera angles here. As much as everyone wants to see Natasha's pink G, I think, think it would be uh, allowed. On the uh, on the family friendly YouTube, <laughs> this is epic. So we're back in uh, the mall here, Boost Juice, top mall Australia. So it started 22 years ago. Four fingers. Four fingers is uh, referring to the fire gap Natasha has. You sort of see people are getting quite fat in uh, around here, thinking sugar's bad. And compared to Natasha's physique to everyone else around here, we'll just drop back a bit. We'll drop back a bit. Most most people are wearing masks here. Uh, yeah, back down to the hotel. It's an Apple store over there. What were you saying then about the uh, deep fried? Yeah, they eat a lot of. Speak up, we base. They eat a lot of deep fried chicken and pork. Yeah. Kale and yep. these huge advertisements for mm. fried chicken. Yeah. So you like, see. Literally on every corner. And there's a sugar tax here, so people are going, "Oh, sugar's bad. You know, KFC is good. Let's load fried up on the fats." Good. And you see it. The waistlines are expanding, and uh, the Strava times are getting slower and slower because of here, babe. Crazy, a sugar tax, but fried chicken everywhere. It's, it's really sad to see. I've, I've been coming here since 2006, 2005, and uh, it's sad to see. Like Malaysia, man, great country, great people. But you see the fatigue's kicking in, and the waistlines are definitely expanding. First time I came here was a 2006, 2005, one of those years. Actually, I think it was 2006 the first time I came here. Yeah. People are definitely getting fatter, and the the, the sugar. His intake is getting less and less and the fat intake's going up. The fat cheese the fat you wear. Malaysia's proof of that. Vag. <laughs> favourite part, you've been here for like 24 hours. You got, what do you think, favourite part so far? The warm uh, weather, people are friendly? The accessibility of vegan yeah. and vegetarian restaurants. Yeah. And 
people, 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 warm. people and, and people are friendly here to you, do you think? Yeah, it's very friendly. Do you feel safe in Malaysia? I do feel safe. There you go. KL, come along.